Uh, yeah, Apostle Hall here, coming back at you with this truth. Um, once again, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is this clown, this new clown, the uh, Edomite with the glasses on and the shirt with Jesus written over it, uh, going to the different camps, putting up videos talking about how he um, made this camp run and made this camp do that. And they don't want to see this guy no more. Um, anyway, this is uh, the video is uh, entitled ISUPK admits that they have no proof, expose himself. No DNA. Well, guess what? We don't need no DNA, and we never said we had the DNA and the bloodline and all that. I'm going to let, let you listen to this clown for a minute. I'm going to change the subject. I'm going to pull a scripture to answer your question. They're saying, show, show us your bloodline. First of all, we can't show you a bloodline because uh, through the Roman Empire and through slavery, we were, we were um, cut off from our heritage. So there's no direct lineage of your father's 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 father line going back directly to the to the nation to uh, the the land of Israel, or proving through records that we're the Israelites. The only record we have is the scriptures. You know these guys are set up, man. They're desperate. Now the. Edomite said that our bloodline doesn't go back to Israel. Well, how does he know? How does he know? We know that we're Israelite based upon the prophecies. We're not Israelites based upon the bloodline because we don't have records of our bloodline going back to uh, the Israelites. We know by this by way of the scriptures, but anyway, I'm going to go into a couple of scriptures. The first scripture I want to go into is Romans 8 and 16. It says, "The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High," meaning the Israelites. And what that means is, we fit all the prophecies, Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, and all the other prophecies. We are those people. It tells you in the scriptures that uh, the children of Israel were so-called black people. The Most High himself, which we come in his image, had woolly hair. The Lord, uh, the son of the Most High, whom the world calls Jesus Christ, he looked just like his father. When you go to Daniel, the seventh chapter and the ninth verse, it tells you about Job being, he said that my skin is black upon me. Uh, so, uh, Solomon said that he was black and beautiful, black but but calmly. He said he had uh, it spoke in the songs of Solomon. It spoke about him having uh, uh, um, speaking about a uh, woolly hair or bushy uh, locks. So everything in the scriptures are uh, fit to us being the children of the Most High. So they can keep talking a not madness. Okay, it says here, it says, John 14, verse 17, even the spirit of truth, which is the, the scriptures, are the scriptures whom the world cannot receive. See, these people cannot receive it. That's why they don't, they don't want to accept the fact that we are the children of Israel, because, it's, because it seeth him not, and it should be it, Neither knoweth him not or it, but ye know it or him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. So how, now if this is talking about a man, how can a man dwell in you? It's talking about the spirit, the spirit of the book. It says, uh, St. John 16, verse 13, how be it when he or it, the spirit of truth, which is the scriptures, that's why I go back to Romans. It says, The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. St. John 16 and 13. How be it? And I'm going to have, Lord willing, Yahweh Shem Yahweh 
Yahweh Shine Rogers, I'm, I want to do a uh, maybe a GMS in transit on uh, St. John 14 and St. John 16. No, we may we may go through the St. John 14, 15, and 16. But in St. John the 14 chapter speaks about um, the Comforter, and the Comforter is not a man. The Comforter is is the book. How the Most High is going to come to us through the book. He says um, in Psalm 40 and uh, 7, Lo, I come in the volume of the book that is spoken of me. That's why he's known as the Word in John the first chapter. Because when we read and follow the Lamb pursuant to Revelation the 14 chapter, follow with the Lamb whithersoever we, we, he go, how do we follow him? By the book. All right? It says in... Uh, in uh, John uh, 16, 13, how be it when he, or it, because it's the book, the spirit of truth, and it's not just having the book. If you have a, a, the scriptures in your hand, and you're not of the elect of Israel, and you open a book, you're not going to understand that book. Because what does it say in uh, Daniel, um, uh, the, 12, the 12th chapter and the 10th verse? It says the wicked shall not understand. So these guys that are coming up against us, they're the wicked, and they shall not understand. They don't understand this book. It says, uh, how, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, which is the, the word, and there's a spirit that comes, the, the spirit, there's an actual spirit with that book. Um, I believe it's Revelation 3, verse 19. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to that. Revelation... Three. Okay, Revelation 3 verse 19 It says, as many as I love I rebuke and chast and be zeal uh, zealous there Therefore And repent 20, behold I stand at the door and knock If any man hear my voice And open the door Now a lot of you clowns you actually listen for the actual voice of the Lord. You, the, the way you hear his voice is through the word. I will come in to him and I will sup with him and he with me. So, so that's all that's all we got to read on that. Okay. So what it means by supping, I'm going to go from here back to Romans. Romans 11, verse, verse 7, it says, What then Israel hath not attained which that which he seeketh for, but the election hath attained, obtained it, and the rest were blinded. The rest of who? The rest of Israel was blinded. It says, according as it is written, the Most High had given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should see, not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So you have Israelites out there that are, that are, are blinded to who, who they really are. It says, and David saith, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be dark, darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always. Meaning when they go to try to, when they, when they go to try to understand these scriptures, they're not going to understand it. And you Edomites, you're definitely not going to stand, understand it. Let me, let me go from there to uh, St. John. St. John 17. I'm, you know what? I'm going to go to St. John 8. And I believe it's 32. 
and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So what is the truth? The truth is his word that we read, we read from. Now let's go from there to uh, St. John 17. It says, uh, 17, St. John 17, verse 17, Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth, which is, is spoken of as the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth is the word. When you get the, these scriptures and you study these scriptures, the Lord substitutes, the Lord gives you these scriptures. He opens your eyes to these scriptures. All right? So, you know, we found out that we're Israelites do by way of the scriptures. And that's had to be one of the reasons why your slave masters took the Bible away from you and didn't allow you to read, especially the Bible, because most likely they knew, well, they did, the, the elite knew who you were. They knew who you were, all right? And these other groups can come and uh, come against what we're, what we're saying. And you know what? We're going around saying that we're Israelites, right? And these guys are saying that we're not Israelites, and they and they keep making videos. That's all they do. There's, do you know they have abortion clinics and there's people, women are going to abortion to abortion clinics and killing their babies. Why aren't you in front of them them, them clinics or them um, hospitals? There's witch covens, witchcraft is in America. Why aren't you going up against those witches? Why aren't you going to them covens? Oh, you got homosexuals. And it tells you, it tells you about, it tells you that in, uh, in, uh, second Peter, the second chapter, I believe it's in, cause they haven't made one video about a homosexuality and that is wrong. Bear me for a minute. Okay, here it is. Uh, uh, Second Peter is two. Verse sec, Second Peter is two, verse five, and spared not the old world, but saved no Noah, the eight person, and a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Sixth verse, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes condemned them with an overthrow, making them an end sample unto those that after should live ungodly. So what was, uh, what, what were the, the uh, people of Sodom and Gomorrah doing? They were in the, um, they were into uh, vow acts, vow sex acts. You know, when um, the, two, the two men, the two angels came to see Lot to bring them out of the, the city before the destruction, the men in the city came banging on the door saying that they wanted to know those two men, meaning they wanted to have sex with them. And Lot gave up, uh, offered, uh, offered up his daughters so, and said, you do, what, do what, you, what you can, what you want with my daughters, but leave these men, men alone. Okay? So you're going to give up your daughters for men to uh, gang rape them instead of giving up two men that are guests, because if you had a guest in, in, your, in your house, it was, it was up to you to protect that guest, even if it meant your death, man. And y'all don't understand that because you're not from that world. The world was different going back thousands of years ago. But anyway, the Most High is gonna destroy this place uh, because of uh, what they're doing now. I mean, you have laws that it's all right for you to get a sex change operation. It's all right for a man to get with a man. It's all right for a woman to get with a woman. You can marry your animals now. There's certain, I believe there's a law in Canada where you can marry your animal. If you love your horse, you can marry your horse. But none of these guys are 
go, coming up against homosexuals, witches, warlocks, witch covens, because there's there's a deeper reason why they're coming up against us because we have the truth, and mainly they're coming up against the uh, the men that stem from uh, one West. They're not dealing with any other Israelite group because the other Israelite groups are not really pe teaching that truth. Those non-Messianic uh, Hebrews. Anyway, with that, uh, I'm going to close with this. We don't have we don't have to have bring out no paper saying our line goes back to uh, Aaron or Moses or the tribe of Judah or the tribe of Levi. We know that we're the Israelites based upon the word, based upon the scripture, which is the spirit of truth. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.